Hey there guys, all the shot here. I just want to welcome you to our first episode of our early look series where we take a look at a game uh, that's still in development. We're not going to be overly critical about it since this is obviously still in development. Rather, it's more of a showcase series, okay? So for our very first episode, we're going to take a look at a game called Crystal Catacombs developed by a very fine gentleman named Maxwell Jensen. Uh, what is Crystal Catacombs? Well, it's very interesting. It's an indie, um, Metroidvania, RPG, roguelike kind of game. <laughs> so it's really a mishmash of a bunch of genres, and I really think this game benefits from taking, you know, really interesting parts of those genres and kind of putting it all together. So we're not really going to look through the menu and stuff like that since this is still in development. It could very well change by the time it comes out and release. Instead, we'll get into the game and talk about it. Alright, so... This game definitely features some very, very gorgeous pixel art. Uh, I love the, cal the color palette. It's, it's very beautiful. Very neon kind of... Uh, retro future, I, I guess you can say. And here we are, we get to choose uh, which level to start in. Kind of like Mega Man, I guess you can say. Uh, this is my favorite, the Keepenstein, so we'll start with that. Alright. So you start off as this kind of warrior person who's trying to make its way out of this treacherous dungeon. And it is quite treacherous. This game is actually pretty difficult, especially when we first uh, start off. It, it's, it's very unforgiving, for sure. And I just died. Oh my. <laughs> I just I just wasn't careful, that's all. But as you can see, it is, it is rather difficult, okay? Uh, you do actually have a few lives. I'll show you that now. So over here is the menu system. Uh, as you can see, you can see my little icon there in the right hand corner. It says two, you start off with three. I just lost life, so I'm at two right now. And you know, this is your inventory. And you can collect items and magical spells and level up. And you can level up through, you can see the stats here. When you do level up, you can uh, potentially, you know, up one of these basic stats, which is very, very useful, of course. Alright, so we'll take a little look at it. So it, there's a lot of platforming elements. As you can see, wall jumping is actually a big part of the platform elements of this game. It's actually kind of cool. It, it really sort of sets itself apart a little bit because of that. Uh, it doesn't rely so much on platforms rather than uh, just wall jumping and stuff like that. You definitely want to be careful. As you lean against the wall, you can go down tunnels like this a little bit slower. And you kind of want to do that because you don't know what's down there. And Dying is very, very easy in this game, and regaining your lost health is rather difficult, at least in this version. I am playing the beta version right now, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's, it's tough as nails, that's for sure. It's one of the harder folk like games I've played. Uh, oh, we just found a new item, and you can actually equip your item, just like that. And there is controller support already, uh, which is nice to see. This game functions very well with the keyboard and mouse, but... I really, really like it on the controls since it's very, very platforming. Alright. Uh, as you can see, the art style is a very, very pixel art, and there's some gorgeous pixel art here. And the animation is simple, but, you know, very. Uh, what's that word? It, it's good. <laughs> there you go, that's the word I was looking for. The, the animation is good. I gotta say, it's uh, retro. It's very, very retro. It's definitely the feel that the developer is going for. Now, as you can see, um, there is a lot of mobs, and the way you kind of progress through the game is uh, you, you kind of want to go from level to level, finishing the boss at each stage, and in order to do that, you have to find the key, and in order to find a key, you have to kill mobs. As you kill mobs, you'll have a random chance of getting the key to exit out of the current stage, and you also have to unlock the door as well by, sta and blah, 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 by finding and standing on specific platforms and this is an example of one of those platforms ta-da there we go we just un unlocked the potential of the door we and now we just have to find a key to make our way out of this stage now crystal catacombs is actually quite a bit of a success story i have to say it's been covered by kotaku uh, they have a kickstarter set for seventy five hundred dollars and they blew that goal right out of the water. They actually succeeded with 16, over $16,000. There's the key, by the way, so we can exit out of the stage when we find the door. 
Uh, as I was saying, they actually blew um, their goal right out of the water, uh, doubling it, essentially, at six, over 16k. Uh, it's already been covered by a fairly large YouTuber, and I'm actually a big fan of this YouTuber as well, by Rock Lee Smiles. He's done a quite a good job on describing the game himself, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, and I, I see a lot of great potential for this game. It's currently on Steam uh, Greenlight. It hasn't been greenlit yet, which I'm actually kind of surprised by, considering the success of the, uh, the Kickstarter program. So, if you haven't already, go thumb it up, you know, go help it get greenlit, because, uh, you know, people like me who really, really like their games in a centralized platform, which my choice is Steam, uh, I, I think this game really does deserve to be on Steam. It, it's, it's a quality game, and I'm only playing, like, basically a, a portion of the final game, which is just the beta right now. So, so yeah, definitely worth your time, definitely worth looking into. Definitely go greenlight it, definitely, definitely go greenlight it. If not for anything else, for my sake, because I want to purchase it on Steam so I can add it to my collection. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely a bit of a Steam whore, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sure a lot of PC users are, and that's really one of the reasons why it's so important for good games like this to get greenlit. So, you know, it has a you know, really high chance of actually turning a profit, helping a developer, and to further you know, support this game and other games in the future by said developer. So again, go ahead and green like this. I definitely recommend it already, even though this is still a very early build I'm playing. I can see nothing but great things from this game. This game has a lot of potential, I gotta say. Alright. So yeah, that's basically Crystal Catacombs. It's a tough as nail. Uh, platform, action platform RPG, uh, <laughs> roguelike indie game, and uh, it's, it has, a, again, a lot of potential, it's a fun game. The only feedback I would give, uh, with this current build anyways, is I find a jump as a leap out. Ow, my feelings. That, that hurt my feelings. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the jump is a little bit floaty, I find. Although the controls do feel very responsive for the most part, uh, I do find the jump a little bit floaty, which does hinder my, my attempts of avoiding mobs sometimes. Uh, that's really the only like, feedback I would really give this game. Everything else, the, the visuals is gorgeous, very unique, I have to say. Uh, the music is fantastic, just listen to it. Yeah, I can totally get into it. Um, you know, it's a little bit loopy though, you know? As great as the music is, it does kind of loop quite a bit. Uh, I guess that would be another bit of feedback I would give. Uh, but other than that, it is actually pretty fantastic sounding. The sound effects is good, they got good sound cues to let you know when important things are happening, whether you're it's happened or not, whether you got hit or not. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good game. I have to say, I'm very very much looking forward to playing the full release. Uh, again, I really really hope you guys will check out their greenlight page and help them greenlight it and uh, all that kind of stuff. Well, I think that's about it, guys. Yeah, Crystal Catacombs, good game. I have to say, I'm, I'm really really excited to see the full release. And that will be it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, if you found this informative in any way, please send me some love, like, share, favorite, and comment. But most importantly, uh, subscribe, help me grow, and feed me my vegetables. Well, that's it for me, guys. All the shot out.